What's up y'all? Paramoto back at you with another video. How are you guys doing? I am amazing today. It is a beautiful day out right now. It's like 79 degrees. It kind of looks like it's going to rain, but fuck. It's like almost November and it's almost 80, so I'm all about it. I got to go be meals on wheels for my pet snake, Reggie, and go get him some food right quick. So I figured I'd take you guys along. Man, I have not been on the bike in a minute. I'm feeling like I've been letting her down. Just like, why have I been hanging out in the garage? It's still nice out. Man, it's so nice out here right now. Man, I love riding bikes. I still think the V2 Panigale is the best sounding motorcycle on the face of the planet. I know the V4 with an acro system sounds like a fucking pissed off Rottweiler, but I still think this bike sounds fucking amazing. That's the SUV I just passed. He's all butthurt that I passed him. I watched some road rage videos recently, man. Yeah, I am so glad I'm not the person to get super pissed off anymore. Like, it's insane. Like, I was watching one video and like the dude ends up pulling a gun on the motorcyclist it's like dude just let it go like i've been there and i've been that person and i've been that pissed off guy that like oh man you cut me off or oh man you did this you know just let it go because at the end of the day if that car like how i've experienced on this channel if that car decides to fucking it wants to try to hurt you dude you're in a world of fucking trouble oh man how a patrol why but I like always almost miss that exit I'm a big fucking idiot oh. like I am so fucking tired but I'm in such a positive mood right now last week I like ran uh, like six shifts in a row and like it sucks, man. When you start, like, we do three day shifts, one day off, three night shifts. Dude, and you are toast by the end, man. You're just, like, done. I'm done working. And, like, when you get around to, like, your days off, like, right now I'm off for the next two and a half days, dude. It feels, like, just amazing. And the weather's awesome, and I get to be on the bike, dude. I'm so fucking positive and pumped up right now. The thing I love about North Carolina is that... You get like all of the seasons. So like right now it's fall. Yesterday it was like 70 for the high and it was like cold at night and like the leaves are changing and everything, you know? But like today it's 80, you know? And it's like the season, like all the, all the seasons that I don't like get shortened and all the seasons I do like get elongated. And then you always like, even when it gets cold, you get like that bonus day during the week. Like, uh, you know, I know it's December, but here's a 70 degree day. Highly recommend uh, North Carolina if you guys are trying to get out of like the north like I was. You know, I hated living. I mean, Cleveland is a great place to live. That's where I came from. But like North Carolina is so much better. Like there's more job opportunities there. I mean, the pay kind of sucks here, but you can actually work the field that you want to work in. And then the weather's nicer and the cost of living isn't bad, dude. Like, this place is actually a pretty awesome place to live. And a lot of people, like, put the South, like, they beat down on the South. Like, oh, the South ain't shit. You know, the South is backwards. The South is behind. Like, I bet you anything, the South is actually more fucking progressive. At least North Carolina is more progressive than, you know, 60% of the country. When I worked EMS, we, um, at the time, we were, like, one of, like, the mainstay EMS systems of the fucking country. Like, people watched us to know what to do. And it's like, we were the most progressive EMS system in the country, or one of the top three. And it was like, it's in the South, and you wouldn't expect it. See, this is something I'll never understand. So, a whole car could fit between the car and the line. So why wouldn't you just go? I need to take this bike to a racetrack. I kind of want to take it to like a, like a quarter mile or eighth mile track and just see what this thing can do. 
you know, and just fucking launch it. I think it'd be fun. I know fucking um, riding with Tom was doing that. Like, all of his bikes, he would take to the track, like, to the uh, quarter mile. So, I've always done, like, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then Saturdays, if I have the, you know, the footage, the availability um, to post, I, I post on Saturdays. And I've been basically, Saturday has been a normal video now for, for months now, but Saturday's always been the bonus video. But, like, people like Walt Terrific and stuff, they have, like, motor, Moto Mondays and stuff like that. You know, fucking um, Downshift 83 has Super Classy Sundays. And uh, I was almost thinking about doing something like that, like, have have the names, you know, and have, like, a set thing, you know. So, like, I was thinking, like, Tuesdays could be, like, Topic Tuesday. So, like, Topic Tuesday, I make a topic video. And then Thursdays, I make, like, a daily vlog video. And then it's, like, it would be, like, a whatever Saturday. I mean, when you have your own channel, like, you're always thinking of ideas to make things better. And you're always thinking about ideas to just, you know, progress your channel. So I've been, like, fighting off a ton of negativity lately. Like, everybody's so, like, fucking butthurt and negative right now. It's like, I just, I'm trying to, to beat the negativity with just being positive and realistic. Like, so, like, people in my job are, like, really negative and everything. And it's like, I kind of feel like you got to step back a lot of times and realize what you have. You have a job. We have a ton of time off. It's not like a nine to five stuck at a cubicle job. You know, you get to actually make a difference if you feel like it, you know? And if you don't feel like it, nobody punishes you for not. People are so negative. Like, oh, this place sucks. This place could be run so much better and all the typical gripes. And it's like, dude, have you guys ever had like a truly bad job? You ever had bosses that have never held your position and like they're just fucking idiots and stuff? because that's what I've dealt with before and that I'm not dealing with that now, you know? And my pay is kind of, my pay sucks, but it's comparable to other places that does the same thing. So, and the Mustang is peeping the fucking bike. But anyway, a lot of people are just being super negative and it's just like, I've been trying to like distance myself from them because it's so easy to catch that fucking negative bug. You know, like it's so easy to just be like, be hanging around with somebody at work and it's just like man this place sucks and then you you just like end up being like yeah this place sucks i agree and it's like you don't you don't really agree but you just say it until it becomes true for you that you become salty as well i don't understand why people are so negative about it like you can basically take off all the time you could ever possibly want and you're still bitching like why don't you chill out like and we only work like four, we work 12 hour shifts, so we work like 14 shifts a month. So I just got done working six shifts in a week. That's damn near one half of all the work in an entire month is in one week, you know? And you get a lot of time off like in the month and everything. So it's like, why are you guys bitching so much? Like you get a ton of time off to go do fun shit. Like why don't you just go do something fun? You know, chill out. I guess you have that in like every job. I think at every place you work for, you go through like this honeymoon phase where like oh yeah this is way better and then you start realizing that the problems that you moved away from are still at this job and then like you have different problems that aren't the same as the other one or or whatever you know it's just like you never get away from it i mean working is just working so like unless you work for yourself i mean you're always going to deal with the same problems you know and like you're always gonna have to deal with fucking co-workers that are salty and all that crap really like my overwhelming actual like life philosophy is think for yourself you know so when somebody's like oh this place sucks and it's like eh, it really doesn't i mean there's things that i wish could r get run better but it doesn't suck that's for damn sure uh go It seems like every time I make a vlog now, I'm going to the pet store, but that's where I'm heading now. I gotta go get fucking uh, my pet snake some dinner. Reginald. I'm basically Reginald's fucking uh, Meals on Wheels. It's like the most fucking epic Meals on Wheels vehicle ever. Man, I love that new blacktop smell. I used to go to the skate park that was like all blacktop and it was like so new. And that's what, the new blacktop always reminds me of going to the skate park as a kid. I fucking love it. I need, uh, I'm gonna need your help. I'm, I need some comments about what, what I should do, you know, what you guys would like to see. Would you like to see a brand new bike on the, well, not a brand new, but would you like to see a build series on this bike and get a new bike on this channel, like a different one, like an R6? Would you guys like to see me do a super epic road trip? You know, well, I mean, what do you guys like to see? 
And on the same point, go look for my mod video. Go look for my mod video and tell me what mods you like to see on this bike. What I'm leaning towards right now is basically like um, a uh, a tail. So like do like the perfect tail for the Penangali. So do like um, you know I'll do um, a cowl. I'll do like a cowl and then a tail tidy and all that stuff, and then just do like a perfect tail, or. I can maybe do all this stuff. I know there was some talk about maybe doing an exhaust, but if I do the exhaust, it's gonna ruin the whole budget. But let me know. Go look at the videos, throw me some comments, and tell me what you like to see. I'll be right back with you guys. So like, I feed my ball python, right? And the, the vast majority of snakes are like rodent eaters. So he eats mice. And like the little bastard decides that he'll, he won't eat anything that's already dead. Like he's got to kill everything. So like I have to actually feed him live mice, which is something that I really didn't want to do. But I mean, the little guy just fucking will not eat anything else. You know, I'm almost leaning towards another bike just because it's it's something that'll like be like a gift that like just keeps on giving. Like you always have more content. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. I didn't have like one of those days where you like literally just fucking spend your entire day on a motorcycle. I need one of those. I need to take a trip up to Ohio. I need to bring this thing up to Ohio one day. Spend a couple days there riding around. Just for nostalgia purposes. Ride around for a couple of days. Ride to all my old spots. Take like nothing at all. Take like two pairs of clothes and that's it. And a phone charger. Man, it's definitely fall out here. That's for sure. It's nice. Like back when I lived in Ohio, fall was like the death season. Like you knew that like you weren't gonna be riding soon. Winter came and you gotta put your bike up for like four months. That sucked. I don't know how people do it. Like I literally, the biggest catalyst I ever had for moving here is literally my motorcycle. Like I couldn't imagine having to fucking go back to having to put the bike up for four months a year. Four months. So, so at work we did a fucking hot dog challenge last night we went to sheets the gas station if you guys aren't aware if you don't have sheets in your area it's a gas station where you can get made to order food and uh you can get nine hot dogs for like five bucks the challenge was to eat nine hot dogs from sheets dude my stomach's still fucked up over it it'd be like i had one hot dog that had been on a roller for like ever and it was all shriveled up and then the next hot dog like basically wasn't even cooked i will never for the life of me figure out why people mod a fucking piece of shit Honda Civic. Uh, I guess your boo is your boo, but fuck, man. When you got like a, I got a 2001 Honda Civic. Let's put some gold trim on it from AutoZone. Oh look, here are sheets. Let's go get nine more hot dogs. Oh, this bike doesn't go 20 miles an hour, guy. Oh god, tunnel. Yeah, see the front wheel come off the ground a little bit? I did! Like, one thing that I noticed with this bike is like, if you keep it like the revs down low, like kind of how it is now, and everything's just kind of like thumping away and everything, like it gets warmer than if you're revving it out. So if I wanted to stay a little bit cooler, downshift and get it up over five, and for some reason the bike runs cooler. do hood rat shit right now but I really don't want to fucking get a huge ticket man this lady is working hard you ever see somebody running and it's like their their body mechanics make it look like they're working like 10 times harder than they should what's up scooty puff junior that's just funny for you guys that like don't live down in the south the way that things work with like scooters and like mopeds is what they're called is um, you don't have to have a license to drive them so when you get a DWI and you can't have a license anymore you go get those and I think they, they basically call them liquor sickles 
So like, you gotta have insurance, and you have to have them have uh, you have to have them registered, but you don't have to have a license. So you can just be a drunk on a fucking scooter if you want. And that's how shit is now. I think George is the same way. That's one thing I'm gonna have to do if I fucking go on this a super long road trip is I'm gonna have to invest some money in fucking you know SD cards and fucking uh, GoPro batteries. It gonna be expensive. So I guess big news if you live in Canada, fucking, um, apparently weed's becoming legal very soon, if not already, by the time this is posted. So, like, now if you live in Canada, you can fucking smoke weed legally. I think that's pretty awesome. I want to make a video about it. I'm waiting for my, my Canadian friend to send me an email so we can spitball some ideas. I don't want to, like, talk too much about it because it would ruin some of the topics coming up, but, like... I still think some of the most ridiculous shit about drug laws are like all their like basically all the basis of every drug law is racism. There's fuzz up ahead. One of the first uh, drug laws in the U.S. was uh, against opium, and the reason why opium became illegal is that all the people in San Francisco, after they built the railroad across the country, all the people in San Francisco didn't like the Chinese people that decided to settle there. And the Chinese people liked opium, so they made opium illegal. Like, weed became illegal initially in the South. And, uh, oh my god, this guy has to go so f So slow. Oh my god, 17 miles an hour. But anyway, so like, if you look at like weed, weed became illegal initially, and this is initially, because of like dock workers in like uh, New Orleans and Texas and stuff like that. Like, the dock workers were coming over from Mexico and the Mexicans like weed. So they're like, you know how we get rid of these Mexicans that we don't like? Make the weed illegal. I'm kind of a history nerd. I know a lot of stupid random facts. But take out some money, pay the rent. Thumbnail. Yeah, I love his bike. I love all the quirks. I think that's one of the things that I like about Ducati the most. It's all like the little quirks of riding these things. I think it's, it's very endearing. Some of the things that people probably don't like about this is probably a big reason why I do like it. Perpetually leaving my blinker on. Alright guys, thanks for following me along on this vlog. Like I said, please throw me some comments down below. Please like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see y'all on Thursday. Deuces.